school system away at this point nobody's learning nobody and one of the worst school systems in the united states of america baltimore where every year 300 plus people are murdered in, by gun violence fentanyl drugs once upon a time heroin crack now designer drugs stepped on with fentanyl shoot them up shoot them up kill kill the last thing we need in school is this happening i don't know the backstory to this right but at this point i don't even know is that the, that could be a secretary that don't even sound like the teacher it sound like she's just sitting in the class maybe being a second uh, uh, a substitute, excuse me, because the the real teacher probably had enough and called out. One of the um, big problems in school, especially like Baltimore, right? A lot of teachers, good teachers, do not work in the city, and this is why. For no reason should a student be going back and forth with a grown up like this at all. At all, I see so many failures in this situation. Look at the state of the world right now. Look at the people who's running for president, right? Think about that. And the schools they want to, right? And their backgrounds. It'll never be a kid from this background going somewhere representing none of us. Because we in there doing that. And look at the adult in this situation. Talking to him like that. This the adult. Your little dick. This the adult talking to a kid. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's in control of themselves. You can't control what nobody else say, but know who you can excuse me, know who you can control yourself. Whatever happened to leave the class? If the kid gonna have a meltdown, let him melt down. But you don't go back and forth with a student like that and talk to him like that. You let him have the meltdown and you let the principal, assistant principal, handle the rest. There's no threat on your life. He pointing his phone at you, recording you, being disrespectful, fine. I get it. 
They don't pay you enough to sit there and go back and forth. You let them do that and let it, it you don't, you don't um, keep adding to the situation. You call for backup and let them deal with it. But instead, you go back and forth. You stoop down to the kid's level and now look at this. Now you're on the internet. And it's this display what's going on in the school system. This is why we don't have nobody going to the House, the Senate, the con nothing. Because this is where it starts. It starts here. This is where we're supposed to be learning it. Where half of the kids can't read, comprehend. You can see it on the internet today. Everything is taken out of context and interpreted wrong because people have no comprehension skills. They can't do math. So they ain't going to be able to find jobs. But you're going to be a job for somebody else, a prison guard. Yeah, we're going to need more police. Yeah, and probation officers. Yeah. People to run the places to do urine tests. People to run the halfway houses. Yes. You're going to put all their kids through college. Meanwhile, this is for this. Because all these people in here right now is not getting an education at all. The class is over for the rest of the day. You tell me how them kids going to focus after that. No, they posting the video up. They on the phone. The class is lost. You can lose a class. You have to have a certain demeanor when you are a teacher or you'll lose your class. And when you lost your class, you ain't getting them back. It's over to that next year. When you get a new group of students. We want to put more money into the school system that they ain't going to steal, right? But when you see this, when you see um, the return on your investment and the kids can't read or write, why are we dumping money in these schools? We keep dumping a lot of money in these schools. What are we producing? Sweezy boys, rappers, gorillas, and killers. And that's the majority. And the ones that do make it out, you go to college, maybe, or they just graduated, graduate and choose something else, but ain't no jobs out here for them. So we just failing them all around the board. But at least here, if we do this right, we give them a fighting chance. Parents, talk to your kids. At the age, the ninth grade, they're like 14 or 15 years old should be able to reason with them. You should still have control over your kid. Take the phone away. The video game. You're grounded. Do whatever it takes. Get a mentor, a big brother, an uncle, somebody they respect. Get your kids in line because it's not just the school. Because you send your kids to school with all that outside shit, and they bring outside into school, and school becomes outside. Nobody's learning. Do y'all understand how critical this is? It's thousands of videos like this. Thousands of them. Between fighting, gang banging in the school, sexual assault, all kinds of stuff. People getting high, but not learning. And guess who they look like? They look like me. And then we wonder why things are the way they are. And it's not, it's so many different levels of failure. But what I'm talking about is the things that we can control. And once we get control of ourselves, then we can start making changes on the other things. But until we get control of ourselves, don't expect nothing. Don't expect nothing. But continue crime, continue, uh, uh, break-ins and all car thefts and because now you got kids out here, young adults rather with no future, right? Where the 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 the, the, the street culture will run everything. And they go to prison. I think just the other day a 15 year old got locked up for killing a 14 year old. Babies. Gone. Both of them. Gone. Like, 
if y'all don't care, just say y'all don't care. But it starts in your house. You know your little raggedy son. You know your little hot ass daughter. Everybody want to be tough and cute. If we don't start valuing education and respect for elders, disrespect for our community, ourselves, and not to say that we don't, I'm talking about on a large scale, too, is though we could put out these little fires, a bull crap as a whole, because if things going to change for us, we got to start there in school and at home. Nobody want to send their kids to school without kids. They'll, they'll get the basketball player or the football player. They pull them out, you know. Or the, the kid that was just so smart that and couldn't be distracted by things like that and made it through. It's like the road that these kids got to take, the ones that make it, is so hard and it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't. We got to pave the way. We got to make a way. Not like this. We can't have this happening. Enough is enough. This is what I'll do. What I've been doing. Checking my kid. How was your day? When it's something, I deal with it. I'll come up to school. Let me see your report card. If it's a PTA meeting, go. Be involved. That's all we could do. I ain't about to watch the rest of this debauchery.